Hey friends, Tomas Wagner here. I'm a wedding photographer living in Vancouver, Canada, and I'm excited to talk to you about one of my favorite pieces of software, Narrative Publish. I use this all throughout my site to keep my posts fresh, curated, and designed with intention. So I'm gonna start you off with one of my blog posts, best of 2019, so let's dive in. All right, so here's the post. As you can see, there's lots of different images, different sizes, different crops. And what I love about narrative is that you can make it as simple as you want or as involved, meaning you could put a blog post together in about five minutes or you could take half a day like myself. You could leave spaces as well for no images. You could do GIFs. And lastly, something a bit more complicated here, the bridesmaids. Lots of different images, different angles, different crops, different aspect ratios. And then I used to scroll down to the groomsmen and it's a tiled wall. Very simple. There we go. So let's jump into narrative uh, to get started. All right, so I started a new blog post, imported all my images. I technically did a rough call outside of narrative and put in all of my best photos. I usually pick way too many, but I like having them here in narrative because I don't know if one will match up with another better than the ones I thought. And I like testing and playing with a whole bunch of images. Also, if you feel like there's too many images for you and you don't know how to kind of deal and go through with them, you could actually go through one by one, check if you like it. And if you felt like you didn't pick the right one, select a few and you could hit delete and it puts them away. Where it hides them is at the very bottom under hidden images. It also puts uh, the used images that you put into the blog post in the used images section. So let's get started. Pick three images, let's do four actually, and throw them in. So you can see they all line up like this. Now let me pull up both panels so you could see that you could actually take all of these images and make them squares. So yeah, you could crop right in narrative, which is amazing. I've taken images that were vertical and made them into squares, or I've made regular four by three aspect ratio into a 16 by nine, even a three by one, like these ones. So you could also use spacers to divide your images to keep them further away from one another. You could put it as long as you want or as short. If you like the spacing of this one, you could duplicate it to the next image or the next spacer. You get a bit more complicated with spacers and obviously put them to the sides like so. Like that. You could throw in another spacer or duplicate the same side. Same spacing. Another way of doing this is actually double clicking the image and moving it within its frame. So I'll change the sizing, move it around. And you could also do that. Spacers are great. Um, they add a little bit more extra time to the workflow, but they definitely help trying to even out images all throughout the space. You can see I could just drag another image right into the other one. I don't like that, let's put it in here. Let's change the aspect ratio to three by one. It's like a completely different image now. There we go. If, for example, let's say these images just don't match the vibe in the area with these two, you could select all three of these images and move them into another desired area right here. There they moved. So you can now divide different parts of the blog. And let's say you're finished, you're ready to publish. You're ready to put this on your website. There's two ways to go about it. You could either export your images. This is great maybe if you want to also post it on Instagram, Facebook, any social media. Or my favorite is actually to publish to Narrative. And this way, um, it does all the work for you. It gives you code, which then you put into your site. It's very simple. You just put it into the body of the image or body of the post and the whole blog post shows up. What I like about this is that I could return to an image or I could return to a blog post a couple months down the road, update the blog post, move some images around, refresh it, for example, and hit publish, and then I leave. I don't have to export again, re-upload, and host it. It does everything for me. I love this because I also deliver previews to clients, and this is a really good way to send a preview, and then once the images are finished, I could go back to the post, add more images, and create an official post afterwards. I hope you get the opportunity to pick up Narrative for yourself. I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic tool to either help you blog quicker or create 
incredible designs on your site. All the best. Thanks for joining me. Cheers.